The Falls Church City Women's History Walk features 44 history stations, each dedicated to a woman's contribution throughout Falls Church City history. These women's actions range from city council achievements to Falls Church City education development, small businesses, and even women's suffrage in the 19th and 20th centuries. The walk is self-led and begins at a sign-in station at City Hall. The first station is of Carol DeLong. She served on the Falls Church City Council for 16 years, from 1974 to 1990, and was the first female mayor of Falls Church City. She also advocated for the establishment of the weekly farmer's market here in Falls Church and the Aurora House, a home for abandoned and in-need young girls and women. Betty Blystone served 12 years from 1971 to 1983 on the FCCPS school board. During her tenure on the school board and city council, the now named Meridian High School received a blue ribbon status by the U.S. Department of Education. Known as a community builder throughout Falls Church City, Marty Meserve served on the city council for four years as vice mayor. Barbara Cram was made president of the FCA from 2011 to 2020. She initiated the Plain Arts Festival in 2012 and founded the Little City Catch Foundation. Jane Scully was elected to city council in 1994 and the Falls Church City School Board, founding the Falls Church City Public Schools Daycare Program in 1976, which became a model for the rest of Virginia schools. As school board chair and city council member, she helped come up with the plan to prioritize public schools and established a Northern Virginia Graduate Center here in Falls Church. Kathy Kay, a true public servant of Falls Church City, served as treasurer of Falls Church City from 2006 to 2014 and campaign treasurer of many elected local officials. Her achievements were recognized by receiving the Jane and Wayne Dexter Award for her outstanding service to Falls Church City community. Edith Abramson was one of the first founding members of the Citizens for a Better City and part of the founding charter of Temple Road of Shalom, which is today the largest Jewish congregation in Virginia. Abramson was also the first ever recipient of the Maddie Gundry Award, honoring her work in advancing equality and empowerment of Falls Church women. Edna Frady was a true community activist. She served on the 8th Congressional District Democratic Committee, bringing awareness to Falls Church. Frady also served on many Falls Church societies and committees, whilst being a longtime employee of the National Education Association. She received the 1997 Maddie Gundry Award and was named the 2000 winner of the Greater Falls Church Chamber of Commerce Pillar of the Community Award. Immigrating here to the U.S. as a Vietnam refugee, Jackie Bong Wright is a true leader and hard worker. She established the Vietnamese American Voters Association, registering over 8,000 Vietnamese voters. She received a Washingtonian of the Year Award for her work. Bong Wright was also awarded the 2007 Gold Medal of Liberty for advocating on behalf of sex labor trafficking victims and awarded the Gold Peace Statute in 2013. At the age of 12, Viola Hudson began writing letters advocating for better services and utilities. Hudson also organized the first Girl Scout troop for black girls in Falls Church. She later served on the Northern Virginia Girl Scout Council's Board of Directors. Nancy Sprague began her career as a social studies teacher in FCCPS, then served as a middle and high school principal, and finally as the assistant to the superintendent. Sprague helped and oversaw the implementation of the international baccalaureate programs in FC schools. She ended her career as chief academic officer in Fairfax County Public Schools. The FC Education Foundation maintains the Sprague Teacher Leadership Fund in her memory. Working as an FCCPS elementary and middle school teacher for over two decades, Lindy Hockenberry won the 1984 Agnes Meyer Outstanding Teacher of the Year Award. She served on both the Falls Church City Council as vice mayor and on the Falls Church City Planning Commission. Jesse Thackeray established Falls Church as an independent city and also established the highly acclaimed FCCPS. During her tenure, FCCPS became the first system to voluntarily integrate and offer kindergarten. For her great work, she was awarded the Maddie Gundry Award and the Carol V. Shreve Award. The newest FCCPS school is named in her honor, the Jesse Thackeray Preschool. Kay Wyant served FCCPS from 1986 to 2007 as an English teacher at both the then George Mason Middle and High Schools. She received the 2003 Agnes Meyer Outstanding Teacher Award and for almost a decade was the president of the Falls Church Education Association. 
As a member and chair of the Falls Church City School Board from 1954 to 1966, Jane Dexter fought against school funding cutbacks and dismissal of FCCPS staff. She served as the first president of the Falls Church League of Women Voters and took part in many other associations. Dexter is the namesake for the Jane and Wayne Dexter Award, which is presented by Citizens for a Better City as the highest honor for any CBC member and their exceptional service. Marion Costner Selby was one of the first African-American students to attend the then-named George Mason High School in 1961. She was the first African-American to work and integrate the offices of the Fairfax Education Association and the Fairfax County Planning Department in a professional capacity. Caroline Kerfoot was said to be the daughter of an African chief. She was captured shortly before the Civil War and may have been one of the last enslaved people to be shipped to the United States. There are stories of Kerfoot being very religious and praying multiple times a day in an unknown language, which may have sounded very similar to some parts of Muslim prayers. Eliza Henderson was born into slavery in Washington, D.C. She attempted to escape but got caught. For her punishment, she and her family were sent to Mississippi. After the Battle of Vicksburg, Henderson escaped with her son by hiding him in a trunk and following Union soldiers back to Washington, D.C. After emancipation, she purchased land in Falls Church, located on the corner of now Washington and Broad Streets. Louisa Mars Henderson married Edward Henderson, who is Eliza Henderson's son, and helped run the family grocery store. She lived with the Henderson family and had four children. She was a high-ranking member of Easter Stars and donated a part of the Henderson land to the Second Baptist Church campus. Betsy Reed, the daughter of abolitionist and lay preacher John Reed, faced great dangers while helping to educate African-American adults before, during, and after the Civil War. These African-Americans were former enslaved people who crossed the border from the South to the North, constantly defying local laws and defying Confederate sympathizers. When it became too dangerous to hold classes at her uncle's house, Reed would secretly visit the homes of the families. The widow of James Wren, an architect and builder of the Falls Church Episcopal Church, Sarah Wren was known to hold anti-slavery sentiments, and after her husband Seth began to emancipate the enslaved people left to her. Mary Ellen Henderson taught and served as principal for the Colored School in Falls Church for 32 years, which had no heat, running water, or janitorial services. In 1936, she presented a study on the disparity between the black and white school to the city council in which she succeeded in getting a new school for the African-American students. For her great work in Falls Church, she is honored by being the namesake of the Mary Ellen Henderson Middle School. Nikki Graves Henderson is one of the founding organizers of the Women's History Walk and an accomplished historian who resurrected the stories of many African-American community members. She is also the leader of the Tinner Hill Heritage Foundation and through the foundation initiated the Social Justice Committee of Falls Church and vicinity. For her great service to the Falls Church community, Henderson received the 2017 Carol V. Shreve Award. Lebanese-born American Alixa Naf was known as the mother of Arab American studies. She transversed the country, collecting oral histories and persuading Arab Americans to donate family artifacts to be included in a collection she assembled and donated to the Smithsonian. During World War II, Fran Richardson volunteered with the Red Cross in North Africa, Italy, France, and Germany. She has worked all over the world helping others, including in India, China, and Bosnia, teaching others English. She received the 1988 Falls Church Chamber of Commerce Carol V. Shreve Award and the 2000 Maddie Gundry Award. Lola Saunders was a Falls Church native and longtime K-3 teacher at the Falls Church Colored School on Annandale Road. They were better prepared due to the high quality of education the students received at the school by Saunders and others. Tanya Gaskins Hardy and her family have been attending the Galloway United Methodist Church since it was founded in 1871. She also established a small historical museum in the lower level of the Galloway Church Fellowship Hall. Laura Hull founded Creative Cauldron, an arts and educational theater organization. She continues to be the producing director there and managed the move into Art Space Falls Church in 2009. A founding member and chair of the Aurora House, Leah Porzell was instrumental in the design, construction, and operation. Porzell was the president of the Northern Virginia Mental Health Association, a branch of the AAUW, and of the Greater Hillwood Civic Association. She was also a Girl Scout troop leader for more than 18 years. The Falls Church City Council passed a memorial proclamation for her lifelong service to the community, renaming the Aurora House College Scholarship Fund as the Olam Porzell College Scholarship Fund. 
As a free colored woman who worked on a plantation, Harriet Foot Turner had the job of picking up newly purchased enslaved workers and bringing them back to the plantation. In 1851, she decided to pose as the buyer for 12 people, and instead of delivering them, she forged the travel documents and took them to Canada where they were freed. She couldn't return to Falls Church, but she kept in contact with her family and purchased the land that is now the Target and the Lincoln at Tinner Hill for her family members. A lifetime member of the Second Baptist Church, Mary White spent the majority of her adult life volunteering for the church and community serving others. She was also one of the founding members of the Tinner Hill Heritage Foundation. She coordinated hundreds of major annual service projects and social activities. Miriam Hurst Yoakum, a 10th generation member of Falls Church, was the 35th President General of the National Society of the Daughters of the American Revolution and served as the Centennial President. She was greatly involved with the restoration of the Cherry Hill Farmhouse in 1976. Alma Almaker was born and raised in Falls Church, and Marilyn Henderson was both her teacher and her mentor. And by 1963, she was one of the first African American educators to teach in integrated schools. Mary Ellen Shaw began her 34-year career in FCCPS as a first grade teacher at Mount Daniel Elementary. Shaw received the 1989 Washington Post Distinguished Educational Leadership Award and was promoted to superintendent in 1997. Sally Phillips served on many community organizations. She served many important roles on the board of trustees of Mary Riley Stiles Library. She received the 2006 Jane and Wayne Dexter Award for her Citizen of For a Better City work. Doris Newcomb was one of Falls Church City's longest tenured business owners and a longtime member of the city's Chamber of Commerce. Newcomb is the owner of Tower Square Shopping Center and WFAX 1220 AM. Ellen Salisbury served on the Falls Church City School Board, Housing Commission, Chamber of Commerce, and the Board of Trustees of Mary Riley Stiles Library. Salisbury received the 1992 Pillar of the Community Award from Falls Church City Chamber of Commerce. Maddie Gundry founded the Virginia Training School for Children with Intellectual Disabilities in 1899. She was elected by the Falls Church Town Council to serve as the school trustee, but quickly declared ineligible due to the fact that she couldn't vote. She then formed the Women's Suffrage League of Fairfax and advocated for women's rights until the 19th Amendment was passed. She was one of the first women to be elected to the Falls Church Town Council. Midge Wong was very passionate about preserving the rich history of Falls Church. She was a longtime board member of the Village Preservation and Improvement Society and on the Historical Commission. As the co-founder of the Victorian Society in Falls Church, she made history more accessible by providing living history attire. She organized Church and Tavern Day and is the owner of the oldest house in Falls Church, Mount Hope. Mildred Tinner Leake was a fifth generation Tinner Hill matriarch she was born and raised in Falls Church and was very active in civil rights throughout her life. Along with her services to the community, she was also an active member of the Second Baptist Church. Mary Molly Pultz Riley was an alleged Confederate spy and at the age of 18 years old was arrested and imprisoned in Washington, D.C. While awaiting trial, she was sent to the Hughes family in Falls Church and was never tried for espionage. The Hughes family introduced her to Joseph S. Riley and the two fell in love. They got married and moved to Cherry Hill where they started a family which included their daughter, Mary Riley. Mary Riley Stiles was born and raised in the Cherry Hill Farmhouse. For over 25 years, she served as chairman of the library committee and Falls Church Women's Club. Upon her death in 1946, her children, honoring their mother's wishes, gave her estate benefit to the city library and gave a portion of the Riley farmland for the construction of the current library. The public library was opened in 1958 and was renamed in her honor in 1977 as the Mary Riley Stiles Public Library.